welcome back to my channel and uh, if you haven't subscribed already then please do subscribe share and uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me in the below comment box okay so in last class what we have studied is what is a complex number system and uh, means how how it is related to the you know Cartesian form and today we are going to learn and the polar form because in a complex number system there are two forms one is a Cartesian form that is related to x and y axis and this is x axis this is x axis and this is y axis so today we are going to study what is a polar form okay what is a polar form so what is a polar form basically we have we know that in a Cartesian form z is equal to x plus i y this is this is Cartesian form okay this is Cartesian form so these things we are going to convert it into polar form okay basically in polar form what we need is we need a point so from the from that point actually this is a complex number system this is a complex number so in polar form what is the distance from origin is origin to this what this point z so what we need is we need this distance and angle this angle is nothing but the angle of inclination with respect to this x axis okay so how we are going to form it and we know that from this uh, right angle triangle from this right angle triangle this right angle triangle we know that sin theta what is sin theta sin theta is equal to what sin theta is equal to sammukhino bahu by karma suppose this is my r okay so the resistance is r from 0 to z so sin theta will be y by r sin theta will be y by r r is the distance from origin to this z so here we got that what is y y is nothing but r sin theta r sin theta y is nothing but r sin theta similarly what is cos theta? cos theta is nothing but this x by r bar this base by hypotenuse similarly x will be equal to r cos theta ok this will be equal to r cos theta so what is that? this is equal to z is equal to x plus i y so here z is equal to what is x? x is nothing but r sin theta sorry x is nothing but r cos theta and y is nothing but r sin theta so instead of x instead of this x we are going to put r cos theta plus i into r because y is nothing but r sin theta so r sin theta so this will be equal to r i is common so we will take r cos theta so cos theta plus i sin theta ok this is my z so in polar form in polar form r plus r into cos theta plus i sin theta theta is nothing but the angle of inclination with respect to this x of this ok and r is the modulus from r is the modulus of this z means uh, this is from 0 to r so 0 to sorry z ok so now we are going to find now we are going to find what is r we will find what is r r is nothing but we know that y is equal to sin theta and we know that x is equal to r cos theta ok y is equal to r sin theta x is equal to r cos theta so we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 we know this identity so we are going to use of this identity to find the value of r ok so by making this one square y is equal to r sin theta y is equal to r square sin square theta Okay. Similarly, this x is x equal to r cos theta. So x is equal to r square cos square theta. Okay. So now y square plus x square. We will make y square plus x square. So x square plus y square will become r square sin theta plus r square cos theta. So this will become r square cos theta plus r square. Okay. Since r square r square they are common, so we will take common outside r square and cos square cos theta. We know from trigonometry 
sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So, this will become r square into 1. So, r square into 1 part. Anything you multiply with 1, you will get only that r, that r square. So, this will become x square plus y square is equal to r square. But what is r? If you will remove this square, so here it will become what? Root of r. So, r will become x square plus y square and plus or minus. Since distance is always positive, so we will omit this line. So it will be always x square plus y square root of. This is the r distance. So if you are given, so if you are given one uh, complex number in a Cartesian form, if he is asked like if they ask you to find what is a polar form, then that time you are going to make use of this formula to find the polar form of any particular what complex number system. Any part of the question, okay? I hope you have understood. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box, okay? Below. So we found what is R. Now we have to find what is theta. Okay? Theta is nothing but the angle of inclination with respect to this x axis. So we know that, okay? We know that uh, sine theta is what? Sine theta is what? This is what? And cos theta is equal to x, y, r. So, if you will make this divide like, if you will make this divide like sin theta by cos theta. What is sin theta by cos theta? Sin theta is nothing but y by r, this y by r, by cos theta is nothing but x by r. This will become x by r. So, what happens if, if there is a by order by then, this is will, will become y by x and this r will go outside and this r will come downside. So r will get cancel, cancel out each other. So y by x. But we know that sin theta by cos theta is nothing but tan theta. Okay? Tan theta is equal to y by x. Okay? Tan theta is equal to y by x. So what is theta now? Theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. This theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. This is our theta. So, yes, that's what we have to And what is our theta? So, if you are given a complex number in a Cartesian form, how you can convert it into polar form reporting on this one? Okay? And this z also we can write in another way by using Euler's equation. We know that Euler's scientist, he has introduced one system. It's, it's like, like this. So, cos theta plus i sin theta is equal to the is equal to i into this theta this theta, this theta, this theta, this theta, this theta so cos theta plus i sin theta we can write e to the i theta ok so this one will be replaced, replaced by this e to the i theta so z become r into e to the other i into theta we can write this z of x z is equal to x plus i y this can then form into this form okay r is nothing but what root over of x square plus y square and theta is nothing but at this one tan inverse of y by x so i think we are going to solve some problems some problems so that you can understand completely okay so now we are going to solve for this complex number one plus i one okay so we are going to draw one diagram first so what is real part? Real part is 1. Real part is 1. And imaginary part is another part. So this is our complex number. Okay. This is equal to 1 plus i 1. So we need to find this theta. And we need to find this distance from origin to this z uh, z coordinate. Okay. This is 1 over 1. So how are you going to find? What is R? R is nothing but what? X square plus Y square. That is R. Root over. So, like 1 is X, 1 plus 1. So square square. So what do you got? This is going to be the Okay? This is going to be the So now we have to find what is theta. Theta is nothing but 
tan inverse y by x theta is equal to tan inverse y by x so what is y y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 so 1 by 1 so theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 by 1 is equal to 1 so we know the word we know that from trigonometry tan inverse of 1 is equal to what 45 degree so theta is equal to 45 degree but we can write pi by 4 radian okay pi by 4 radian so now this z is equal to 1 plus i1 this is we can i can write z is equal to r into what this is also i can write this form what is r r is equal to root 2 and what is theta theta is equal to pi by 4 so i can write this form this form also i can write they are both equal very equivalent okay so r is equal to r into the power i theta i can write like that but what is r r is equal to root 2 and what is theta? Theta is equal to pi by 4. So e to the power i into pi by 4. This is my z. So this is my equal to 1 plus i1. Okay? This 1 plus i1 I can write root 2 into e to the power i pi by 4. I hope you have understood it. Okay, if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. Now we are going to solve the next one. 1 plus i root 3. Z is equal to 1 plus i root 3. The same thing we need to find R is equal to Okay. What is R? R is equal to what? This x square plus y square. What is x? x is 1 and what is y? y is root 3. So 1 square plus root 3 square is what? 3. So 1 plus 3. What? 4. Square root of 4 is equal to Plus or minus 2, but since the distance is positive always, so we will take r is equal to only 2. Okay? Now we will go for finding this theta. Theta is equal to 10 inverse of y by x. Okay? 10 inverse of y by x. But what is y? y is not equal to root 3. And what is x? It is equal to 1. So we will replace this one. Root 3 by 1. So 10 inverse of root 3 is equal to what? 60 degree. Right? So theta is equal to 60 degree per pi by 3. So this means, sorry, this things we can write z is equal to 1 plus i into 3 or what is r? r into e to the power pi theta. What is r? r is equal to 2. What is theta? Theta is equal to pi by 3. So e to the power pi by 3. So this is our z is equal to 2 into e to the power i pi by 3. Okay? i pi by 3 is a power h to e. I hope you understood. Okay? Hello? Uh, please do watch the entire video. Otherwise, you won't understand. Okay? Please do watch the entire video. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. So that I can help you out to understand this concept. And don't forget to share, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, then you please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that I, so that you can get my video like in daily basis so that you can watch it as soon as I just upload it on YouTube. Okay, thank you.